Hi guys, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Grace. And in today's video, I'm gonna be painting a ceiling medallion. I'm gonna be painting this for my room. I'm going to be putting a new light. So I did want a little bit of a, little bit of pop of something and I think I will get it with this. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna paint it in this video. The colors I'm gonna be using is Dixie Belle and I'm gonna be using Fluff and I'm also going to be using a uh, drop cloth. They're very similar. One of them is just maybe a shade, shade darker. But before I start painting, I just wanted to show you that this is almost like a plastic. It's not that foamy um, material. It's like a plastic. Anytime I paint something with a, that has a plasticky or glass, I always use slick, uh, slick stick from um, Dixie Bell. This product here helps the paint adhere to the project, whatever it is that you're doing. Here I paid in Canada $20.99. If you use Dixie Bell products, you, you know they're quite pricey. Like this little container here was $44.99 here where I am. And this little one here is $17.99. Let me know if you want me to do a video about um, some of the paints I use. I will be more than happy to show you that. So there you go. I'm going to be investing and let's see how this turns out. I wanna get away, but I could use some company. If you belong. Just picked up these four chairs on Marketplace. I paid $15 each, so that was $60 for the four of them. And I'm going to redo them uh, for my kitchen, but I can't wait to see how these are uh, going to turn out. I mean, the seats are absolutely beautiful, not a stain on them. And I'm quite happy with, uh, you know, 60 bucks, hello. So that's gonna be a future project. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna see how these will turn out. And I'm starting off with a slick stick from Dixie Belle. This is a really, really good product. design is very very detailed so I'm going to make sure that I put this stuff in every little nook and cranny You can already see the difference from this area to this one. Don't worry about the little imperfections because you can always go back and fine tune that with a very small brush. So I've given the first coat of the fluff and now I'm just letting it dry. And then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna go into all the little corners that we need to get into. That's how it's looking so far, I love it. Now that it's dry, I can actually see any spots in these little, you know, pockets. Now you can get these with not so much detail like this. This one was a deal, so, and I really like the pattern.
So this is what we've got so far. I've got some on the edges here, which I'm not worried. I'm going to clean that up, but I am going to give it a little bit of a square. Okay, so now that it's all dry, I'm just going to go in and touch up the white, anything that needs to be touched up. Now I'm going to be using the uh, Dixie Belle Clear Coat Satin. I love this satin and clear coat. It just leaves everything so beautiful. And it really is super easy to apply. I really, if I have too much on the brush, I just, you know, uh, shake it off on the other uh, petals or on the other design. Now, how easy is this, guys? Anybody can do it, come on. Now, you know I love checks, but not everything has to be in the black and white. You can incorporate checks if you like it in other colors, like I'm going to um, incorporate in my bedroom, but um, in a lighter tone. And this is how I'm going to add it into my room, right? I'm going to add it into the ceiling. Crazy, eh? And that's the checks I've added along the side. Just in that beautiful fairy light tone. Well, the project is finished. Sorry, don't uh, mind my crazy hairdo. It's been one of those days. We took the grandkids to uh, horseback riding and then hubby and I went for uh, Sunday afternoon tea at the Rockway uh, Golf Club and Winery. Guys, I'll try and insert a little bit of uh, pictures or video here. It's a beautiful place. If you're here ever in Niagara, uh, on the Niagara region here in Ontario, do go there. I'm telling you, it's wonderful. Let me know if you want to know more about it. Anyway, back to the video. I wanted to show you at the end of this video what the uh, end result was with a ceiling medallion in the ceiling with the chandelier. I actually bought a chandelier on Marketplace for my bedroom. However, you know, we agreed that we were going to, that I was going to pick it up on uh, Saturday. I messaged him on Saturday and he said, oh, I sold it to somebody. And I said, yes, you sold it to me. And he said, oh no, I sold it to somebody else who could pick it up earlier. I know that ticked me off. All he had to do was, can you pick it up earlier? Just for a word of caution. If you sell something on Facebook to somebody, don't go ahead and sell it to somebody else. If you're wondering if that person is going to return, um, to pick up the product and just say, you know, send me an e-transfer to secure the deal if that's what you're afraid of. But this has happened to me twice and I'm it just, you know, it hasn't made me very happy. Let's just put it that way. But anyway, I really wanted to show you the end result with the chandelier and the ceiling medallion. Unfortunately, I can't do that. As you know, I've moved to a new home and I've decided to change my decor. So I am slowly doing each room in a French country type of um, style. I thought I wanted all the, the, you know, gray and the glitzy glamour thing. However, I find that I've changed or my taste has changed or maybe when I moved here, I just didn't feel that that style would fit um, 
that style would fit my home, my new home. So I'm kind of going French country. So you'll probably see a lot of, you know, checkered French country things coming up. Uh, the color tone I'm going with in my room, and this is how it's turned out. Now, you know me, I love checks. So I did incorporate um, checkers along the bottom. And I think it's going to look really, really nice once it's in the ceiling and you can still see the checkers on the side. I didn't want the whole room checkered, but I did want that little bit of checks in there. And I think I achieved that with this. Guys, you know what? 20 bucks. It was a $20 investment. I did invest in the paint, but um, that paint is going to last me for several years several projects let me know if you like it let me know what color you would have done again i did this color because this is going to uh, match my bedroom i really like the way it turned out let me know what you think thank you so much for sticking with me for uh the last uh, few minutes i really appreciate you taking time out of your day to do that anyway for now take care of each other have a great week ahead i want you to always remember that you want to reach a point in your life when you say remember when and never ever I wish I did. We'll see you next time.